Jadev is back at it here to give everyone another Game of Thrones Season 1 episode reaction video. Before I get into that though, it's pretty important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Game of Thrones like I just did, or you're just not sure, I suggest that you take the initiative and pay attention to the episode title, which of course will be in the description for you as always. If that's the case, you find out that you're not caught up, my suggestion would be that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This is going to be Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode Number 8. The title of this episode is called The Pointy End. Ambushed by tribesmen at a mountain, uh, Tyrion bribes them to escort him and Braun to Tywin's camp. Now, Catelyn Stark learns from a message that her son Rob has called the Banners of the North to war against the Lannisters and that Ned is imprisoned in the dungeons in King's Landing. Catelyn becomes furious with Liza for not telling her, but nonetheless implores Liza to help by sending the Knights of the Vale to join Rob, but Liza, doubting that Rob can beat Tywin Lannister, refuses. Now, receiving a letter from Sansa, Maester Lewin uh, deduces that she is being manipulated by Cersei, and Rob actually gains the respect of Lord Umber uh, after his fingers got bitten off by Rob's direwolf and calls the Stark Bannermen to war, leaving Bran in charge of Winterfell. Yes, Bran that's paralyzed in charge of Winterfell. Interesting. Tywin actually agrees to honor Tyrion's promises to the, the mountain tribesmen if they join the Lannister forces and they demand Tyrion accompany them as insurance. Catelyn reaches the Stark army, pondering whether to attack Tywin or Jaime's forces. Rob sends a captured Lannister scout, scout with a message to Tywin, deceiving the scout that Rob is sending all 20,000 men against Tywin. Now, John and Sam return to the wall with the corpses of Benjen's fellow rangers. Uh, although dead for weeks, they show no decay and... Uh, Mormont informs John of the events of uh, that are going on in the south, but reminds him of his commitment to the Night's Watch. Now, John tries to attack Sir Alistair for mocking Ned and is confined to the quarters for that. And that night, Ghost prompts John to investigate Mormont's quarters, and he is attacked by a dead ranger returned to life as a white and destroys it with fire. Now, in the morning, the Night's Watch burn all the remains of that. Now, Khal Drogos, Khal Stark sacks a Lazarian village to gather funds for some ships because they need to sail to Westeros. As Khaleesi, Daenerys demands the rangers or the raiders uh, marry their captured women rather than enslave them, infuriating um, Raider Margo, Drago, or Margo. And then Drago kills him in a duel but is wounded and reluctantly accepts village healer Mira Maz Durs. I'm not sure what that person's name is, by the way, uh, the treatment. Now, the Lannisters detain Ned and Sansa, uh, but Arya, during this time period, she is having her dance lessons with her dance instructor, Cyril Pharrell, and then the King's Guards show up. And Cyril Pharrell fights them all off until he tells Arya, well, he's been telling Arya all this time, you need to go, go, child, go, go. And then Arya finally leaves. And we're not really sure what happens to Cyril Pharrell. We don't see him again in the show, spoiler alert. Uh, but I think he became Jacques and Nagar. Apparently that never happened. I don't know, but we're not, we never saw a dead body. So who knows what happened, but he was an awesome character in the brief time that he was on in the show. So Arya does escape, and while escaping, she accidentally kills a stable boy who tries to stop her. And then Cersei convinces Sansa to write to Rob, imploring him to come to King's Landing and swear freely to, uh, you know, give his support to Joffrey. And then Joshi, Joshi, Joffrey and Cersei reward the City Watch captain with lordship. Um, they tell Sir Barristan to leave because he couldn't protect Robert Baratheon. And um, they decide to name Tywin the new Hand of the King and Jaime the new Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Sansa pleads for her father's life and Joffrey ag agrees to show mercy if Ned will confess to treason and accept him 
as the rightful king. And that is the end of the episode. So pretty interesting stuff. It's setting up a bunch of different things. Khal Drogo might be sick. We've got Ned Stark. Who knows what's going to happen with him? We've got the spoiled brat, annoying little bastard Joffrey. Uh, going, lots of other stuff is going on. Well, Serial Pharrell, I already talked about that. We don't see his character again. I think he was Jock and Agar. Um, who knows? The Faceless Man, but we'll see. Well, we won't see because we never do find out. Unless they make like a Game of Thrones spinoff that he's in, that would be awesome because I think his character was good. But as far as the score of the episode, I'm going to give it an 8.7 out of 10. And I really did want to give Serial Pharrell the character of the episode, but I can't because he only had like one scene, but it was pretty awesome. He was fighting off all the Kingsmen with a wooden sword, by the way, not a real sword. Um, character of the episode, it's got to be Rob Stark because he's really stepping up all of a sudden. He's kind of been in the background more in the previous episodes, and now he's actually like taking to control of stuff and being like the, the head Stark, although he's not Winterfell now. So you've heard what I have to say. It's your turn. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, first and foremost, make sure you like that or, or like this video. If anybody you know that would be interested in this, Share with them. Leave me plenty of comments. You can talk about the episode. You can talk about your score of the episode or anything Game of Thrones. That's fine. If you're watching this video, I assume you've already seen the whole series. And last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the, che subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support and be a part of something special. And J-Dev, you better believe, will return. <laughs>